Hello everybody, welcome back to Entrepreneur Studio. In this video, we're going to be designing an e-commerce website, you, uh, an e-commerce website design in Adobe XD. I already have my files, all my, my files ready, I already have my images and my icons, and you can get any of these images from Unsplash, which is a free image resource online, and you can get any of the icons from any, any free um, PNG website or any free icon website. And I've already masked my image, but um, yeah, I have my image here and my background. I've masked this chair out, the top of this chair out, because I've done it pre-video, because I pre-designed this this website before I did the film, and then I'm going to redesign it for you. So I have all my assets already here, but it's not hard to mask in Adobe XD, and I'm going to show you how in an, in the next video that's coming, either me or another tutor. So I have my three lines which are going to add as a, a, act as a burger menu and I have my logo here which is going to start with the background image which has already, I've already masked out the white chair and again you can find this image on, on Splash. I'm just aligning my images, my, sorry not my images, it's my logo and my menu and I've got these lines to act as uh, separators and indicators just to give them some space and also it adds to the design and it gives it a nice subtle look and it looks looks really nice and professional so I'm just going to align everything in the middle and right you can align things manually if you wanted to but sometimes I do find myself doing but for time purposes and just for more convenience I use and most people use the alignment tool in the um, in the um, package from Adobe XD to Photoshop to Adobe Illustrator now that that's aligned I can delete that because I just needed to use it to um, as one of the indicators and I can just align the logo accident here are all my images and they like this and in this size and parameter because it's pre-designed but it's not hard to get them into this parameter and uh, from after having gotten them from Unsplash. I'll put the link to all these images inside the description. The icons can be made in Adobe Illustrator or you can just find them from any free PNG website or free icon resource online. got my anchors and put them on the canvas and I'm going to copy these separators, these separator lines and you can copy them by controlling C, controlling V in Adobe XD and or you can just alter drag by click controlling C and controlling V just to, uh, for convenience. These lines are very subtle but that's what they're just there to just add a little piece of flair. You're not supposed to see them fold, you're just not supposed to bold thick lines they just need to add also if you would uh, were to code this website with HTML and CSS it would be you would have to put some padding on these buttons or on these these links the, the cart link the profile link and there would be buttons and obviously you can't just you can refine it to clicking on the small icon but that could be a problem sometimes so this would be give a nicer span a nicer width to the button and you can press um, it's more user friendly the way you press rather than having to press on the small icon okay now I'm going to make a little navigation just a few links in the navigation type collections and I'm just going to change it to a dark grey colour by using the colour picker tool beside the colour fill and alt and drag to create more to duplicate I'm going to 
dynamic folding collection content winter and uh, kitchen you can put any links here it doesn't matter this this design is designed for a furniture shop or furniture e-commerce business but it can be related into just everyday clothes it can be related to shoes it can be related to any other e-commerce can even be related to kitchenware and and uh, which is which kitchenware is furniture, but it can be related to cutlery, any other kind of e-commerce website. It's not in the middle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the two separator lines, and I'm going to uh, keep doing that, and I'm going to align it by them, give it equal spacing on the line that's the middle, and now that it's nice and symmetrical. To add another piece of, of excitement to our background, because it's kind of plain, it just has a radial gradient behind the chair image. But this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this word, which I'm going to say I'm going to make winter, and I'm going to change the font to Bebas, and I'm going to make it, I'm going to give it some, turn the opacity down and flip it and put it behind the white chair image top of the white chair image to add some more creativity to our background. So I've made it 700, it's quite big. I'm going to take the opacity down to 10 px, that's fine. I'm going to use this little arrow icon to flip it and the other one will flip it upside down if you want to flip it upside down. And but now I'm going to manually space it from the top after I bring this to the front. Okay, I put it in the middle. I'm going to align it from the bottom line indicator of the header. And I'm going to manually take it down 10 times or, uh, or less. And now that's added more excitement to our background. It's not something major, it's not no different colors or, or illustrations, it's just a simple word, flip track given some transparency and put behind the uh, part the portion of the image. Now I'm going to add some description to what this chair product actually is. Now if you have if you would have a slide, obviously the um, information would change and you could also change the word the word behind the image. So if let's say you had a black sofa you could you could change it to comfort or just any other word, descriptive word. It doesn't even have to be a descriptive word, just something that keeps our, um, keeps our website looking unique and um, unison with, so all the slides will look in unison. So I've just named it white leather chair. And now I'm gonna give it a description, give it a price, and give it a buy now button. Just going to write any description. If you had this image or you've chosen to go with your own image, which is completely fine, I'm going to do another follow up tutorial just showing you how it would be done with another image of maybe a different color. Or and a uh, different type type of uh, furniture. So just fix up this text. When I write fast, I do a lot of typos, so I'm just fix them. I'm gonna make that smaller. Make it light. The descriptive text should never be thicker than the, um, the title, unless the title has been made thin um, purposely by the designer, or by you as your, your designer. Where is it? 
I was looking for a car icon, but that's fine. I can just come down here and take this car icon. So I'll copy and paste. As you see, it got darker just to show because the opacity is at 50%. So then the opacity went to 100%. And I'm going to take this icon over to my descriptive text of this image to create a, a button. Uh, I buy it now and add to cart button. I find that I've got a smart way of incorporating an add to cart and a buy it now button without making two big clumsy buttons or all in one. So I'm going to take this border off because Adobe XD automatically puts borders and color and shape. And you can um, bring that to front and align them in the middle on top of each other. Because of the image the way it is, it didn't align properly. So I can just manually align the rest. And that will be my add to cart button. And now I'm making my buy it now button. There's my buy it now text. Gonna align the text in the middle of the button. And change the button color to grey. So it remains in unison with the rest of the design. I'm just gonna make it darker. Now I'm going to copy this square and copy the square and give it a box shadow, a drop shadow, and put it behind the button so it looks like the buy it now button is floating over the cart button. going to play around with the sizing and the blur of the spot of the shadow.
going to be x minus 3 y 0 and a blur of 15 And now I'm going to copy one of my separators because I'm going to make a slide indicator at the right side to indicate that this is a slider. to drag it and change the number. I'm going to give it five slides. Going to give the indicator and all of the slide numbers equal spacing. I'm going to take the opacity down on the numbers that aren't relevant and I'm going to keep the, um, the first slide the darkest. include that and align it by the image so now I'm going to make two buttons a previous and the next button for us to slide to different slides. I'm going to take the fill off this time and keep the border on. I'm going to make a circle which is the same size as the rectangle, rounded rectangle we just made. So keep the circle in proportion without it stretching, just hold shift as you make the circle. I'm going to keep the outline for that too. Select them both and bring. Oops. Make sure you click lock this padlock over here to keep the the, um, the size in, in proportion. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five from the bottom, four from the bottom, and four from the side as well. Uh, double click to activate the nodes and then you can just click to any node and resize it. I'm going to make a little arrow icon using the pen tool and just hold shift so it remains as well um, equal sided. smaller so it fits within the circle and use the flip arrow to flip it. I'm going to copy and paste it, flip it back and we're going to add some text within this button saying next just to indicate that the first, we're on the first slide so there's no going back, you can't go back from the first slide, you can only go next. Next, all in capitals. I'm going to align it inside the button.
make sure it looks neat. Essentially, web design and UI design is mainly it's all about, it's all about being functional and 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 uh, pleasing to the eye. It's all about being functional and eye catching. Align those two. Part of being eye catching is being aligned correctly. And now we've finished our header, and you can go ahead and save it.